Hey guys, it's me, Pavilion. I'm back. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you the tier list for this month, uh, the X Force update. This is always a very exciting video. I really enjoy doing this because I'm a big fan of doing tier lists. I love tier lists in games. Uh, so I enjoy doing it for Marvel Strike Force, a game I play a lot. And I think mine's a little different from everyone else's, uh, where I categorize characters just by their general usefulness. Um, so that's different from a lot of other people's tier lists. You know, a lot of people have different things for different um, game modes, or maybe they account for the fact that characters might do better on specific teams on my tier list I just flat out say um, overall I think this character is this good and just in all situations you know just summarizing their total usefulness in the game uh, so I always have this disclaimer at the beginning of the video of course this is why you see all the minions down here minions they're good on the right team but as individuals I don't think they're that good and their value they the minions themselves don't really have that much value most of the value for the team is gonna come from the leader characters uh, like Ronin Red Skull Nick Fury or Taskmaster who buff the minions a lot so you know that's why these characters are at the top but the minions are at the bottom and I know those teams are capable teams if you're really excited about teams I have a team tier list I do every month so I'll probably be putting out a new team tier list soon uh, so you know if you if you're a big fan of teams and you want me to rank them by teams and account for the teams uh, I have a team tier list. So this month I'm gonna be doing a little different. Usually I have gameplay in the background. I edit on the tier list. I'm gonna try just showing you guys the tier list live this month. A uh, couple of pros, uh, I can actually, you can see more directly what I'm talking about at each second now, as opposed to just sort of flashing it on the screen real quick. And you have to sort of like, well, what's, what's he looking at? Um, cons, no gameplay. Uh, but I think what I'm talking about is engaging enough. And I think it's, it's more helpful for you guys to actually get to see the tier list as opposed to um, having it super zoomed out. And now you guys see very specifically what I'm talking about and I just think it's much better uh, for you guys watching uh, so anyways there's gonna be five uh, well there's I, I did move a couple characters around um, from last tier list I do I do read the comments a couple of characters I moved around uh, with no relation to changes in the game uh, carnage I moved up I feel like I've underestimated him I moved down Sith I feel like I've overestimated her I moved up human torch I feel like I underestimated him um, so I did I did move around a couple of characters here and there um, but those are have no relation to changes in the game I just was like I actually I think this character is better than I thought I, that I thought they were or I actually think they're worse than I thought they were but there's five actual new characters two of which are old characters that got reworked so there's five significant changes to this tier list. First, I want to talk about uh, Deadpool and Cable. So they got reworked this month. What's changed? Uh, Cable, I think, has become an actual, uh, really good character now. Um, he was in the D tier. Uh, now I moved him up to the B tier. Deadpool was in the D tier too. Um, but I moved Cable all the way up to the B tier because it really, with his basic attack and the fact that he gets to go pretty much immediately again if he's not charged, um, the DPS he can pump out there is really awesome. The fact they can basic attack almost immediately special um, you know that's really strong right there that whole combo um, and I think there's a lot of utility for that it's not exactly the best for PvE like raids because that's sort of like once you do it um, you know you have to sort of wait for the cooldowns to realign in order to do that whole go two two times in a row thing again uh, but for PvP or Alliance War where he's gonna be used that is an incredible skill and it really bumps up cables DPS um, you know PvP um, just flat out you know versing PvP with other people I've seen cable get picked more often and Cable is just suddenly a bit of a monster nowadays. Um, so he is a really good character in PvP situations. Now Deadpool, um, he did get some buffs, but mostly I'd consider them synergy buffs. As a character, he really hasn't changed. It's just now he gets a little better when he's with other characters like Domino and stuff like that. So he's just, he's a better team player. Um, but by no means do I think Deadpool is an incredible character. I just think he plays really well with the rest of the X-Force members. So he's no longer like mediocre. Or he's no longer like bad, like D tier. He's just like a, he's fine now. And um, he does very well with the X-Force, but now as an individual character and his overall value, I think he's just a me mediocre character nowadays. Then there's three new characters and I put them each in a different tier. We have Domino, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and X-23. X-23 is not out of the game. We'll have to see how she actually um, shakes out when she's released. Uh, but I think she's going to be a pretty strong character. There's a lot of good stuff in her kit. Um, I spe especially for PvP, I could see people using X-23 in battles. I think she provides a lot of interesting uh, damage and the whole idea that she can attack low health targets. Uh, but then she does that multiple times with one move. Um, I just think there's a lot of good stuff in X-23's kit. And I think she's not that dependent on the 
the X-Force team. Um, that's one of Domino's biggest problems is she's very dependent on the X-Force team. I don't think X-23 is. I think she'll do a lot of stuff on her own. You know, you could put her on a Brawler's team. Uh, you could put her with a mutant team. You know, I think she's just a competent character. I'm a big fan of X-23. This could change after she comes out. And of course, if it does, then I'll move her down in next month's tier list. But I just think X-23 is going to be much better than the other two members that came out this month. Next up, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Nothing particularly bad about her, um, but I just don't think there's anything particularly like incredible about her. She has some nice stuff in her kit. She can clear positive effects, some nice damage, um, but I just think she's a fine character. You know, I have no real. I, she doesn't wow me, but I think she's competent, she's capable, and I'm excited to unlock her, and I think she fills a nice place on the X-Force team. Uh, but, you know, I think she shares a lot of aspects with a lot of the other characters in the C tier. Um, you know, characters like Heimdall or Sif or Thor, like, they're good characters, but, like, it's really just because they have a team that they slot very well into and they do a lot with. Um, you know, I don't think any of these characters are really standout, incredible characters. I just think they really do well in their team and they can just sort of get by on their own. And then finally, I have Domino. Um, I think she suffers a lot from being, a lot of her good stuff being really dependent on being with the X-Force members. Probably the best thing Domino brings to a team is the fact that she can transfer negative effects to Deadpool and that she makes Deadpool invulnerable essentially essentially while she's alive. Uh, but you take her on her own or in any other situation where Deadpool's not there, you know, Domino loses a lot of her usefulness. Um, the only other thing Domino can do that's really nice is she can apply Disrupted, but that's, she's not the first character in the game that can do that. Um, and I don't think her damage is on that. It's nice that she can apply Evades, but that's really focused on the X-Force team, so it's not like you could put her with a bunch of different characters that's really only for the X-Force team. Um, so I just think that, I think Domino suffers a little bit from being too dependent on the X-Force team. Um, you know, you maybe could convince me she could move up to the C tier. If you do think so, I'd love to hear your comments down below if you think she's more C tier character. Uh, just from my perspective, I think Domino is just too dependent on the X Force uh, to be a uh, you know a good enough character to be in the C or the B tier. Uh, but overall, that's what I think about the three new characters: X twenty three, really strong independent character; Negasonic Teenage Warhead, a fine character on her own, slots well into the X Force team; Domino. I don't think she's that great of a character on her own, but I think she does well with the X Force team. I'll be interested uh, to put the X-Force team onto my team tier list. I don't know where I'm going to put them on there. I could see them being like an A or B tier team. Um, the problem I think they have is I think they're good. I think they become very good in Alliance War offense, uh, but I just think they're good if you don't have those little, little special benefits with Alliance War offense. So we'll have to see. Um, and I think we really got to wait to see X-23 come out and people play with the team and really see what they're capable of. Uh, you know, because right now we're really just theory crafting with X-23 and we'll have to see how that team sort of shakes out once all of them are released. Of course, down at the bottom, uh, Beast, Yellow Jacket. I have uh, extra character JPEGs down here. Next month, Beast should be coming to the game. Um, I think rumors are like, Gambit, Beast, and uh, I don't know, I've heard a bunch of different names, Squirrel Girl. I think that's my tentative guess of the three characters coming next month, but I've heard other names like Emma Frost, Iceman, um, yeah, you know, all kinds of really cool characters, Rogue. Um, so next month's going to be a pretty exciting month too, uh, but make sure to comment down below what you think about this tier list. Um, you know, which characters do you think should move up, move down? I always like reading them, and I do um, listen to what you guys say, and I do adjust the tier list month to the month, but I hope this is a helpful resource for you as a new player or a mid-game player. Player. I think a lot of tier lists can be a little overwhelming with just all these little numbers next to the characters and where they go and they can move up and down or specific for modes. So I like to do this tier list that's just generally how good is a character overall. Um, so I think it sort of provides a unique perspective on the game. But with that being said, what do I know? Because I am only an 18 year old. I hope everyone's going to have a happy and healthy day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Signing off everyone.